Haley and Matt. Today we're going to talk about all things Duda, why we love Duda. We want to uh, give our viewers a quick high level example of what it's like to work in the Duda system. Uh, one of the first things I'd love to do to kick it off is just show one of the most uh, useful tools that most users are going to be working with, which is the content widget, the text widget. So Haley, would you take us in and just show us how easy it is to just access content, change it, edit it, add new, etc. Yeah. So you can see here is my Duda site. It is built out of rows and columns all stacked on top of each other. So each of these rows you can click into and you can change stuff around. So you can see when I highlight my cursor over this um, text that this little blue bounding box comes in and that lets me know that I'm editing that widget when I click into it. Mm -hmm. And it's as easy as going in and just editing your type and then you can click out of it and it's super easy to make any of these edits. You can just drag and drop stuff around. Um, you can tell like just by looking at it that the user inter interface is super easy to understand and just get a good grasp of how to edit things. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. of these widgets that we're looking at that you're hovering over, like mm -hmm. I when we're talking to people, lay people about mm -hmm. what is it that you're interacting with here, the two things that I think of is you can click in and change the text like you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is every every widget is a container. Mm -hmm. So even on the text, you know, and I know that this has been a struggle in, in other CMSs mm -hmm. that we've worked with, like how do I change the way that this text looks? Mm -hmm. So just taking a container and squeezing it, you should you should show that. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's one of the things that's like, I just want this to look different yes. and you have that ability right out of the gate. 100%. Yeah. yeah. So you can see that little blue square at the bottom that lets me know that I am clicking and editing the bounding box. So you can also do that with sections as well. You can see this blue line pop up and I can make this thinner, mm -hmm. can make it taller, can do a bunch of simple things just by clicking around and dragging and dropping stuff. Mm -hmm. Which is obviously a great example of how easy this interface is to use. You know, you're mentioning, you brought up widgets, and obviously we know we know that widgets are used to build a page. Why don't you take us through some of the settings? Just show us high level. How does a user access their page? How do they get to these widgets? And how do they edit their theme settings if necessary? Yes, mm -hmm. so uh, Duda has two toolbars here for you to see at the top and on the left side here. So at the top, you can see that I have my different device views. So I can even click into this and see mobile right away mm -hmm. and how my website is adjusting for mobile just like do by Duda doing it mm -hmm. and me not doing anything. Again, like this is like a massive, you know, how many times even us as professionals, like I just want to be able to, I'm testing this website on mobile. Yep. Mm -hmm. I can see that this doesn't look right. Yep. How do I get there and change it? Like this is, this is, um, we, we've, out kicked all of all of the developers that we used to to work with because I would have to send screenshots from my phone and all of that stuff. Literally now I can go there myself and make changes. Yeah, mm -hmm. you yourself as a non-technical user can just swap out that content or adjust those um, margins. Yeah, that's and Duda's awesome because you can edit things in mobile and it will not affect anything on your desktop site. So if I wanted to change this text to be really small for some reason, I can do that. It'll remain the same on desktop. And then you can see also in this top toolbar, I can just undo something as easily as clicking that button and it'll undo it. So any if you make a mistake or type something wrong, you can just undo it. I have a redo your last edit button. I have the option to add coding even if I want. And then if I want the bounding boxes and stuff to go away and I want to see what my website's actually going to look like, mm -hmm. I can just hit this preview button and you can scroll and see it without all of that clutter on there. And then you can see obviously this button, publish, that's where you're going to publish your site. Mm -hmm. um, so you can kind of swap back and forth between preview and editor, which is nice. So you can get a sense of if you do publish this live, what is it going to look like? Definitely, yeah. yeah. It is one other feature that's uh, different than, than other CMSs that we work with True. like the Duda system is constantly self-saving mm -hmm. so 
in the environment, when you're working on Duda, it is constantly saving its its own version. Mm-hmm. And every once in a while, you'll see like the three dots show up where it's like saving and then it becomes the check mark. But mm-hmm. that's one thing, you know, when we're training, we have to explain as well. Like oh, most systems, you're like, I made this change. Now, how do I save it? Yep. Mm-hmm. Like you can make many changes inside the editor and none of them will go live until you republish the website. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And, you know, one of the things with the pages, um, did you show us the menu for the pages? No. I'd love to just take a look at mm-hmm. that and how easy it is. You know, Matt mentioned like in the past working with different CMSs, locating the page and then finding the section on the page to see if we could even edit that section. Why don't you show us how easy it is to get into your pages? Yeah, so we covered the top toolbar. Now there's this left toolbar here. So this is where I would edit my theme and you can see that there's an option for pages here. So once I click into that, I'm gonna be able to see all the pages that are housed by my site and click into them. So you can see this one has a carrot, so it's a folder and you can see there's a bunch of um, pages living in there. So you can do certain things like that where you can have a drop down of your pages and arrange that as easy as dragging and dropping things Mm -hmm. on this page menu. And then if I click into a different page, you can see um, how like you can do different layouts on different pages and really customize the site to your liking. Um, I can also access widgets here on this panel. So here you can see image, text, button. I mean, those are the main things you're going to be using on a website. So if I just want to add a button, I can click and drag around and I can see as I'm hovering over all these things, the different places that I can put this button. So it really makes it obvious, like the edits that you're making. And it's super um, easy to understand as a user. So mm-hmm. I love that about Duda. Mm-hmm. Why don't we look at some of the more advanced, you know, pieces of when you're editing uh, with Duda, like How do you change out a background if I wanted a video playing in the background or maybe I'm not, you know, satisfied with the placement of the content versus the image and how easily we can change those or, you know, give us some tips and tricks on how to most ease of use modify this. Matt, I'm just thinking tips and tricks like the very first thing that we we tell people is like when you want to start playing with your website. Yeah. The first thing that we do is. Copy yeah. <laughs> section because you can then create that same section and go to town on it and mm-hmm. see if what you create is what you want to keep. Mm-hmm. And if you do, then awesome. If you don't like what you did and you feel like you destroyed it, like then yeah. you can just delete it. No harm, no foul. Yeah, that is a great point, Matt. So you can even do that with pages as well. Mm -hmm. So like if I know that I want to totally rehaul my about page, I can click on these three dots and I can just hit duplicate and then make all my edits and then delete the old about page and keep the new one. Mm -hmm. Um, You can also do that with sections like you're talking about. So if I copy this row and then I paste it right on top of it, then I am able to make any edits I want. And if I end up not liking the edits that I made, then I can just revert back to the row that I did not delete. So you were asking about showing like how to change color and image and video yes. background. Yes. So mm-hmm. once you click into a row or a column, this design editor is going to pop up. And it's as easy as you can see background right here. And it gives me my options. I can do a color, image, or video. And you can click into the background color and you can play around and try different colors. You You can do a gradient even if you'd like. Um, If you want to add an image, Duda is really awesome and has a library of images and videos and Mm -hmm. icons at your disposal. So like you don't even have to do anything or upload anything. If you don't want to, you can use the images that Duda provides for you. So here I can add an image. You can make a bunch of different edits with background. So you can do cover. You can have it display the full image. And you see that that like leaves some edge on my row, whereas cover covers the entire row. You can have it tile or just not repeat. Yeah. And then you can also change the position that your image is showing on the background row. You can add a background overlay so that the text is a little easier to read. It's very customizable trying to make different backgrounds and Mm -hmm. stuff like that Mm -hmm. so it's very nuanced like you can really every widget has its own settings every row has its own settings Mm -hmm. you can I I jokingly say like have you seen the movie Inception because this page is built (laughs) by section with a A row row within a row row within a row row, you know (laughs) that's how you structure a lot of these pages so it's really neat that each widget has you can really refine every element of the page right within that widget and the great thing is is, you know, 
we have designers like Haley that are extremely fluent in this that mm. give you a starting place. Yes. So all because all of these websites are built in rows and sections like that, if you know that you have a section that looks great and you want to use that as the starting building block for the next thing that you want to do, mm -hmm. you can just copy that section, take it to a different page and paste it in there and then be able to you know, go to town working mm -hmm. with that. Duda also has, I'm looking at the add section button that's in between the two mm -hmm. rows right now. Um, that basically like, even if you don't have any idea what it is that you want to do, how or how to start, like you can go through pre-designed sections mm -hmm, that Duda true. will throw in there yeah. and then you can start manipulating from there. That's true. And I mean, Duda has a lot of excellent uh, templates too that they offer for you as a new user if you wanted to spin up from there. Obviously, we're all custom, so we start from scratch, but it's a nice feature that it also comes with as well. Um, let's talk about some of the fun stuff. So Duda comes with some native um, abilities to like make animations, you know, different buttons might appear differently or different sections. Can you take us through uh, what some of those native features are when you want to get a little bit playful with your website? Yeah, I mean, there's different hover states you can do. Um, there's different certain widgets have a little bit more customizability with them as far as hover states and animations go. But pretty much every um, piece of content here has an animation feature. Mm -hmm. So if you click into the design panel, you can navigate to animation on pretty much all of them. And you can see that they have two different triggers that can cause your animation to occur, either on entrance or on scroll. Um, so once you pick that, that, you can pick the type of animation you would like to see. Um, and there's a bunch to choose from. What I love about scroll is it's more customizable even than the entrance one. You can choose um, the power of uh, your animation. You can choose the direction it's coming from. And there's also this slider where I can choose where on my scroll the animation stops. So there's like a bunch of possibilities that you can do with these animations, even just like the slide one. You can make a slide look 10 different ways with the way that this is set up. Mm -hmm. So it's really customizable. And this is like next level. And it's interesting to see, you know, for sure we talk about in design, like you don't want everything in the screen like yeah. moving. So Overdoing it's like, it, yeah, yeah, getting people yeah. to, to like understand. Overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah. to like this should be classy, yeah. not crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love that. So I know we kind of touched on the quick view of desktop to tablet to mobile. Let's get in there in a little more detail. Let's show how we can edit um, mobile pages and why we might want to edit mobile pages. Before we jump into like making those edits, Matt, I'd love to hear from you about page speed and why is it important to have a, a fast website, fast pages on both desktop and mobile, especially for Rival Mind as an SEO first company? Why does that count? Yeah, I mean, number one is like, it's a, it's a ranking factor. Mm. So you can't have just a dog slow website and expect to have a good user experience. Google yeah. knows that. So Duda is cognizant of that and their development team is out in front of all the leading CMSs relative to core web vitals and how their websites score. Um, so for us as an SEO first company, mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of boxes to check. Like there's a there's a bunch of different website builders out there mm -hmm. that can make pretty stuff, but we have to make it so that they can perform. So 100%. Mm -hmm. hands down, Duda is leading the way and we know that like we can leverage Duda's platform and the websites we build in Duda to be able to not only have something pretty, but have it perform uh, for our, our clients. Excellent. Yeah. I mean, fast is the key here. So take us into that. Like how easy is it to make that edit in desktop, knowing that that edit won't affect mobile and vice versa? Yeah. So um, I've given a brief overview of the desktop site. So you should recognize it once I switch over to mobile. And you can see how Duda automatically adjusts for a lot of these sections. Um, but maybe you don't want um, some of these sections to look how Duda adjusted them. Mm -hmm. And so it's as easy as going into the design panel. You can see Duda has a little indicator here that's a little phone orange icon. And it lets me know that any changes that I'm making in this editor are only affecting mobile. So that if I switch this to be one column instead of two, they're going to stack like this, but they're not going to stack on my desktop version. So I can make a lot of tweaks to mobile that won't um, impact my design on desktop. And 
and my um, uh, help with the speed of my mobile site. Yeah. And that's really important. We have clients who they do want uh, the way the desktop is set up to also be replicated on mobile. But recently I was talking to a client and they've decided they want to reduce some of those mobile pages. So you have, not because they're heavy, but because they want to you know, um, reduce the scroll that a user experiences. So really that would give us the opportunity to get in there via desktop, maybe remove some of the images or build some custom sections just for um, mobile. And then that that's the greatest thing about Duda is it's just as easy as we were showing today. Yeah, so like if you really want to reduce the scroll on your site and there's some of these sections that like they're kind of just on desktop to look pretty. You don't mm -hmm. really need them for mobile. You can click into the entire row and you can do this with any widget even. And you can hide on device and you can click hide on mobile and it will hide it on mobile, but still remain on desktop. And you can do the same thing vice versa. So yeah. if you wanted to hide something on desktop. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like in summary, this entire discussion explains why we love Duda mm -hmm. and why it's so oh, such a great tool, not only for our own team, but for um, our clients. Matt, what would you say is uh, one of the main things that you would like to communicate to a user who's watching as to why they should consider the Duda system in their next uh, website build? Yeah, I think that answer comes with, you know, the the type of client that they are. Mm -hmm. Some some clients really enjoy getting their hands dirty and want to get in there and, and utilize this marketing tool that we've given for them. So building landing pages and doing things on their own alongside any work that we've done, like they will reap the most benefit from Duda. Mm -hmm. uh, a different type of client is running a business, they're busy, they want us to be able to go in there and and we also, uh, everybody on our staff from graphic designers like Haley uh, to SEO strategists, mm -hmm. we know how to leverage the Duda system to make it so that their website is actually working for them. Yeah, that's fantastic. Thank you guys for joining me. Hey, if you like this dojo, Try out this one or subscribe to our channel for more content.